my name is Elena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my channel about a graphic design. And today I'm going to show you how to draw that poster, flyer, banner, in general advertising leaflet for an online bakery. A baker can place such flyer, for example, on its Instagram page or its website or email newsletter to its customers. Why it's for online bakery? Because now, especially after last year, many bakeries are being rebuilt for online sales and delivery. People now value their time very much and they don't want to spend, for example, lunch time on a trip to the bakery. It's better to order donuts to the office. But as a bakery, you can simply print this flyer and hang it in your kitchen. Guys, I printed out for myself yesterday. I didn't prepare that file for the print. I just saved JPEG file with the high resolution. It's 300 ppi, so I like it very much and my wall is waiting for that poster. And one more, guys, that posters are pretty popular and you can design, for example, your home or your office. The text here is neutral and not tied to a bakery. Well, guys, if you're interested how to draw that flyer, then keep watching. At first, guys, let's create new document. We need document 600 to 700 pixels and orientation this one. And for web, we need color mode RGB. As well, we have color mode CMYK, but for web, we need RGB and I selected here high resolution. Create. And now let's start our tutorial. Here it is our colors. We need to select these colors and move to the swatch panel. Select it with the help of selection tool. Select this icon with three lines, new color group and OK. Okay, here it is our colors. And now let's start. Uh, select this color and ellipse tool and create ellipse 280 to, uh, to 280. Okay. Move here. Now object, path, offset path and this option ok select both ellipses and pathfinder exclude now move here copy and paste this shape select this color and move here now we need to make it a little thinner and rotate it ok Let's play a little with the shape, move like this, great. Now we need to add some points, select add point tool and add here point and here point. Now direct selection tool, select that point and move it up that down, this one up and this one down. Let's fix here lines with help of direct selection tool. Great. 
Now let's make the pink shape a little bigger, select it and make it a little like this bigger. Move it a little to the right, ok. Um, let's a little fix uh, the pink shape, select the pink shape and make it uh, more bigger, like this, ok. Now select that shape, radial gradient and let's add colors to the gradient, these colors. Here select uh, the, that one, move here, now this one and here and this one here. Now we need to play with the slider like this, ok. Um, let's select the shape and play a little more. It will be better and more realistic. Ok. Now select uh, the pink shape twice, copy and paste it, move one, one of the copy little up, select both and Pathfinder uh, minus front ungroup, unselect that part and read unwanted part and select that part and make it dark pink color, this one um, sorry, no that one, yep, it's better now make the shape a little longer like this, now let's fix problems here, move like that, ok. Now select that pink shape, copy and paste it and send to backward and move a little down, it will be the shadow, ok. Now select liner gradient and delete that color, this one here, move the slider here and here we need white color, opacity multiply and here 90, oh, 180 sorry and move the shadow closer to the orange shape, ok, select it and you can play a little with the shape of the shadow with help of direct selection tool. You can do it or you can stay it like this, ok, it's great, I think like this will be better and now select pink shape, object, path, offset path and here minus 10 preview, uh, I think better minus 13, ok. Select this pink color, effect, blur, gaussian blur and select um, I think that option. Uh -huh, ok, now we need to change transparency here, 40 or 50, you can do it like you want, I think better will be 50, let's make it smaller like this, you see our donut became softer. Ok, now let's select that color and pen tool and let's add here like highlight, just draw the shape like this, ok, 
okay now here we need in the fill liner gradient here white color and here that one opacity multiply and now um, effect blur gaussian blur and you need to play with the options okay not bad but i fix the shape a little and then during the tutorial i will change some transparency of that shape okay now here let's fix the gaussian blur effect and the same here if you need you can always change the effect here great now let's play a little more with the blur here and you can make the shape a little bigger like that and play again with the blur okay i like it more now let's select that shape copy and paste it effect blur gaussian blur and here these options for the copy okay great now let's move this shape twice copy and paste this one one of the copy little up like that select both copies and for finder exclude ungroup and select uh, delete unwanted part and select that part and that color and again effect blur gaussian blur and again play with the options till you like it okay move the shape here and select it i think here transparency but uh, this one and select that color and i want to draw here some highlights you can do it or you can make as you like it just my vision and again effect blur gaussian blur and options you'd like and here transparency better 70 and the same here effect blur gaussian blur and that options and the same blur gaussian blur and that options now let's move the highlights like that okay i think it's not bad but let's a little fix and move the shape here select all highlights and here 50 now it's great I like it now let's select ellipse tool and create here a little ellipse and select radial gradient here we need this green color 
uh, sorry, yellow color. And here, this one green. And select gradient. And move this gradient here. Now copy and paste the shape. Select uh, 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 sorry, that color and move the green to front and select this pink shadow. Move here. Now copy and paste it. Move the copy here. Effect blur. Gaussian blur and here play with the options. Okay. Now select the shape, the round shape with the shadows and group them, copy and paste it and put here. Now select that green shape with direct selection tool and we need to change colors here like that now again paste move here and again select that shape and again change the colors And now guys, you need just copy and paste these candies and um, play with them and make the donut more tasty, like that. Okay, the tasty donut is ready. Now select that color and make highlight here. And effect blur, Gaussian blur and here that options. Well, I think not bad. Let's change here to white color. And what we can fix here, I think we can fix here gradient. Let's play a little here with sliders. Like this. And more. Okay, I like it. Now we need to fix here. Let's make transparency 70. Okay, um, now let's select this highlight and a little play with the Gaussian blur. I think now it's better. And now we need to select pink shape okay copy and paste it now move to front and select that shadow and pin copy of the pink shape and make clipping mask okay and uh, now let's create the flyer at first, let's select that color and rectangle tool and hold and drag like this and send to back. Now select the donut and group it. Select uh, that background object path offset path uh, minus 13, 15 is OK. Now select uh, the liner uh, radial gradient 
and here we need that color here that one uh, now let's select gradient tool and play with the gradient like this okay now uh, let's uh, select uh, star tool and create the star here with these options here free and let's fix the shape like this we need the triangle here liner gradient here that color black and here 90 move here sorry here minus 90 and now go to opacity and select screen okay now let's play a little with the slider make the triangle smaller move here now let's play a little with that gradient Okay, now select the triangle, play with the slider, now transform, reflect, horizontal, copy, move here, select both shapes, align them, and now transform, rotate here, 30, copy, Ctrl D, Ctrl D, Ctrl D, okay now select the donut and bring to front now we need move that and uh, this one triangle to not see them inside the donut now select all triangles and let's play here with the gradient okay now select green background object path offset path minus 50 okay and here we need in the stroke that color and that brush and direct section tool and hold and drag to round corner okay now let's add the text And now let's add fonts, select that text and select that font. Okay, here we need that one. Here, this one. And make here more smaller text but when we fix all sizes of the text don't worry select that font here now select here the text and make here 100 here the same 100 and now select the donut and right click uh, grid outlines that color and object path offset path and let's select eight here okay now ungroup 
and now we need to add gradient to every of this letter select that letter liner gradient and let's uh, change here colors and gradient tool and make like this now select again line gray liner gradient and add again here that colors and make like this with help of gradient tool and now here blue here pink Again blue and again pink and you need to play with the gradient like that Now select all these letters and send them to front. Now select light letters and group them. Okay. Now add here stroke and this brush. Now copy and pa paste these letters move the copy like that uh, here change the color to fill and delete the stroke and move to backward okay now copy and paste brown shadow send it backward and move like that and select this color opacity multiply now select the shadow and move here okay now let's add the stroke to our letters blue pink blue pink like that and here we need 0 0.7 that brush and here 0 0.7 pretty easy again it's my vision you can do it as you like Okay, and uh, now let's work with our text, select uh, the donuts, only donuts, and group them, okay, we align all shapes in the end okay now here create outlines make the bake shop bigger here we need brown color here as well create outlines again brown color and here create outlines okay and that light color Now here we need that color in the stroke and brush tool and draw here something like that. Now select it and here we need basic brush. Here select that shape 
and here free. Now let's smooth here a little with help of smooth smooth tool. Select that shape and smooth tool and smooth it. Select uh, that shape, transform, reflect, vertical copy and put here. Now select star tool here five. It's our star. Move here, hold odd and make the copy. Now Ctrl D, Ctrl D, Ctrl D. Okay, now select all stars, group them, and let's align here. Group, select that shapes and expand appearance. Now select all these shapes and align them. Okay, move a little down. And now uh, unselect the donut and group the shapes. Now select the donut and align the donut and the shapes and move them like that. Okay, now here select that color and rectangle tool draw here the rectangle move that text in front select the text and make that color in the field without stroke okay make a little shorter and align the text and the shape now path offset path here minus three okay here we need light color in the stroke and um, let's select the shape copy and paste it move here delete the stroke move here okay now add the point here and move the point to the right select the shapes and bring them to front select this one object path offset path and here minus three here that light color Direct selection tool, select the, that line and press delete. And select both shapes, group them and transform reflect vertical copy, move here like that. And now we need to align these shapes. Okay, the ribbon is ready. Now let's make the text a little bigger. And now let's play a little with all shapes and sizes as you like. Uh, you can move the text, you can move the donut, uh, the donuts, the bake shop. So let's play a little. Okay guys, let's ungroup the donut and move ungroup and move that letter all pink letters to 
front like that I think it's more pretty now guys we need to select that text and group it now align uh, only donut and the text okay now select uh, the word don uh, donuts okay like that and group it select the bakery shop and all the text and shapes and align them move here okay now select background and unselect the text and donut and group the background now select all the shapes and group them and now group all design elements okay now we have great align flyer let's create here the rectangle like that effect distort and transform and here 20 here uh, i think uh, 30 okay now here expand appearance now go to opacity soft light and here 20 okay now select uh, that color and rectangle tool create the rectangle uh, 600 uh, 600 to 700 okay and move here now go to uh, effect ah, delete here that line so direct selection tool and delete and move here now effect uh, texture grain and here that options and okay opacity soft light and here 15 okay great i like it now let's fix some details let's select that triangle and move that point here the same here move that point here move here let's look i like it and one more guys uh, let's add shadow here i forget about it so let's ungroup uh, the donut ungroup again select that part copy and paste it move here now select that color bring to backward opacity multiply and here effect blur gaussian blur and let's play with option till you'd like it and move again here the texture okay the flyer is ready 
Well guys, that's all for today. Hope you like my tutorial. If yes, give me a like and subscribe. And see you in the next tutorials in Adobe Illustrator or in the next videos about a graphic design. Bye bye guys. Bye.